Praise God. We're back with our storytelling hour. And our theme is God Shows Mercy. Coming from Micah 7, 14 through 20. Our background. God will one day restore Israel and cast away their sins as far as the bottom of the sea. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us go to scripture. Micah 7, 14. Feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thy heritage, which dwells solidarily in the woods, in the midst of the caramel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. The nation shall see and be confounded at all their might. They shall lay their hands upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of thee. Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgressions of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities, and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the day of old. Micah 14 through 20. Praise God, for God is great and greatly to be praised. Our story begins with Roger going to be very sore but we are thankful he's alive. Virginia's mother reported on the phone. They decided to keep him overnight, just in case. In case what? Virginia asked. And what's the name of the hospital? It was hard having to stay at home to take care of her baby sister while her brother Roger was rushed to the hospital. There was notes her mother had left all over the table. People to call, things to do, things not to do. One person's behavior had affected the whole family. Roger had driven into traffic while riding his bicycle. The accident was his fault, but the man whose car hit Roger was very upset. Virginia had never seen a grown man cry so much. We're at Mercy Hospital, Virginia called Roger's band teacher and tell her that he won't be at summer band practice. That is a strange name for a hospital, Virginia thought. She knew that Mercy was a word from Psalm 23 and 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. The next few days were a blur. At times, Virginia felt sorry for her brother. At other times, she was angry Roger had deliberately disobeyed by riding his bike outside of their area. He said he was sorry, but sorry did not pay the medical expenses. The hospital bills ease his pain or cover the time their father had to take off. Roger was going to be a lot sorrier when he had to have two teeth replaced. It was a comfort, however, 
to realize that Roger was getting good care in a place called Mercy Hospital. They simply took care of people, no matter who was at fault in an accident. The prophet Micah asked God to give his people loving care, just as a shepherd would. Shepherds love their flocks, but they often have to use their staff to bring a stray sheep back into a safe place. God promised that even though they deserved to be punished, he was not finished with Israel. He told Micah that the nation of the world would be astonished when they saw that Israel was a mighty nation again. The nations who hated Israel would see how God cared for his people and they would fear the Lord. Micah exclaimed, Who is a God like unto thee? Micah 7.18 God forgave his people when they sinned. He did not say, I am finished with you because you disobeyed me. God will show mercy on Israel, loving care that they did not deserve. It is wonderful that God remembers to forget the sins we have confessed. If we are truly sorry for our sins, God will never judge us for those sins. He loves to be merciful. In fact, he assures us that our sins have been cast into a place that no human have ever been able to explore, the deepest part of the ocean. This is a beautiful picture of our loving Heavenly Father who cares so much that he will never judge us for the sins we have confessed. Virginia told herself that when Roger came home from the hospital, she would not keep reminding him that he was to blame for the pain he had suffered or that his disobedience had caused their family so much trouble. It is sad that Israel often forgot a lesson they should have learned, that it does not pay to disobey God. Amen? So our lesson begins Saturday. Where can we find help when we experience trouble? Micah 7, 7, 11. Sunday. What does God delight in doing for his people? Micah 7, 14-20 Monday What is the remedy for a troubled heart? Psalm 13, 1-6 Tuesday Why would God anger with the shepherds? Ezekiel 34, 1-6 Wednesday What will God do for the sheep of Israel? Ezekiel 34, 7-16 Thursday Who is the shepherd God intends for Israel? Ezekiel 34, 23-31 Friday Where did Israel's enemy come from? Micah 7, 1-6 Father, we thank you for our storytelling. Bless the youth on today and give them understanding. And bless the peace in Jerusalem. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.